welcome you to the Vizio BCS National Championship. It's undefeated Florida State against once beaten Auburn, number one, taking on number two. Gus Mel's on, leading the Tigers out of their tunnel here at the Rose Bowl. Time to bring the Tigers out. Football. What did you see then that made this night possible? Well, they believed. They worked hard. They got us here, and now we need to play our best game. Talk to you, Gus. Thank you. The smoke clears, and we get ready. the nose. Yeah. Play action. Deep wide open. And dropped at the 30-yard line by Ricardo Lewis. Second national championship, and it was something that day. Dante Freeman busts the daylight to the 45-yard line. Jameis snaps off his first pass to Green for still another first down. He hurt. Stays in the block, however, and Winston throws downfield wide open and it's green and out of bounds. He slips out as a safety valve. Winston keeps it nowhere to go. Fourth down. To throw the ball to. Aguayo, 19 of 20, make a 20 of 21 on the year. The Lou Groza Award winner puts the Doles up 3-0. Straight down the middle, grab for a first down at the 45 of Florida State by freshman Marcus Davis. Mason goes incomplete. Auburn determined to get heat on the Heisman Trophy winner. Snaps it off, Benjamin incomplete. It's three and out, and Mincy with coverage on the six foot, six inch Benjamin. Drops it off to Mason. In zone, our first touchdown. Trey Mason hits Pater for Auburn. Coverage. Again, it's Winston under forward pressure. And down he goes with a sack. This was the game plan, Harvey, yep. that Ellis told us about. We've got to get Winston on his back. That's how they set up. First down and 10. Breaking free is Mason. Your name as they do here. Play action. Fire wide open in the middle. And a foot race is Melvin Ray. Touchdown, Auburn. A 50 yard strike. And again, Gus Melzahn has found a wide open middle against Jimbo Fisher's Florida State Seminoles. He's going to run Freeman on a sweep. Big hole, but he's down short of the first down for yards. Brosh is his tough fullback off to the left. Draw play with Mason. Right side. 
Daylight. Midfield. First down, Auburn. Third down and two. Marshall keeps it. An easy first down. And he's pushed out of bounds hard on that far side by Darby. When you work against the hurry up, that's what you look for. And Mason. Marshall runs away from the pressure on the move. Now he's got to keep it. He knew he was Florida State tonight. So here's Parker. Uh-oh, outside. Misses the 33-yard attempt. No good. Moving late. In trouble. Fumble. Loose ball. Battle for it. Auburn says they've got it, and they do. Winston turns it over. Marshall. Great grab here by Bray. Picks up the first down. Fultz is the tight end, number 11. Going to run away from him. No, Marshall keeps it as he did against Missouri. And he walks in. Who amongst you thought that Auburn could perhaps blow Florida State out? I don't know anybody who thought that was possible. And this time he will throw again. Drop. So just when they get a receiver open, Green drops it on the cut, and that would have been a first down. A fake. And they bring an end around off of it, and they're going to get a first down with Williams. So looking for something to happen, Jimbo Fisher whistles up the fake punt. And let's see if that gives his team a lift. Complete. Takes off. Slips a tackle. Ten. Five. Out of bounds. First out and goal. To start the second half as well. Freeman. Touchdown. Florida State. What they needed. And remember what it came off. A fake punt on fourth and four. Kept it alive. And who knows, that could be a game-saving drive. How did that fake punt on fourth and four and the ensuing touchdown change momentum and confidence for you guys? Well, we had to. We, we lost momentum in the game. We had to gain it back. We had to do something to make a change. And our kids are relaxed now, and they're playing ball again. That's just a matter of going out, blocking, tackling, doing the things we do. Like I said, we're down 21-10, but I like where we're at. I mean, we got the ball coming out. We get some points. We're right back in this ball game. It'll be a great second half. Jimbo, thank you. Let's head over to Tom with Gus. Heather, thanks very much. Gus up by two scores heading into the half. Why have you been so effective on both sides of the ball? Well, our defense is playing lights out. We missed a couple opportunities down here. Of course, they had the fake punt right there, and it cost a touchdown. But uh, I like where we're at. Second half, we're going to try to wear them down. Good luck, Gus. Appreciate it. Brett? 232 yards of offense for Auburn. 156 for Florida State. 21-10 at the end of the first half here in Pasadena. Here he is on third down. Under pressure. Hit on the release. That's wildly incomplete. Seven yards. Going to throw off the play action. Middle. Complete for a first down. And 18. And Marshall. That flanker screen. And uh, I should say split in screen and coach couldn't hang on to it over there in the first half when they came up with that drive to score freeman is now the money back in pass protection and it's green who sat down underneath for the first down Mulberg. put it up on first down benjamin reaches and makes the grab auburn shows pressure but rushes only four Winston going to take off. He had a big run leading to a touchdown. And he is short of the first down. 41-yard attempt. From the right hash. What a weapon. Three points closer. Faking it. Slips it to the outside as an incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down, and Auburn will punt it away. It's crossed. In trouble. And that is big number 30, D. Ford, the senior from Odenville, Alabama. Marshall will keep it attack the outside. Breaks a tackle, still going, and out of bounds at the 45-yard line. 
Mitchell fires, grabbed, and then dropped. He probably whistled in a couple of plays. There's a handoff now to Wilder. Wilder breaks the daylight. You are looking live at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. It's the fourth quarter of the final BCS game of this era. And the underdog, Auburn Tigers, are leading Florida State 21 to 13. Rushing four on Winston, fires, incomplete. Florida State is forced to punt at Ryan Smith. Play fake to him. Far side, intercepted. At the 45-yard line, the 26th interception of the year. This one by P.J. Williams. Second down and two, and Freeman hammers a big hole to the 31-yard line. First down, Florida State. Second down and 10. High, but Benjamin's there. First down at the 11-yard line. Freeman is there on first down. Winston going to put it up. Lays it off to Abram. Running for the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. They are two points away from the top. Marshall throws it far side, got a man open, and that is Ricardo Lewis. Give it to Mason on a delay. Big hole on the left side, and he's up over 125 yards on this game and across the 25-yard line. Under center, rolling to the right. Marshall fires, incomplete high. Coach was coming across. So, Cody Parkey, remember he missed one back in the first half. This is a 23-yarder. Through. And it is now a four-point. That's a win for the Knowles to give Jameis Winston a shot to win this game. Whitfield's coming out. Great return, man. 30, 40, daylight. Green ahead. Got it. Headed for the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. A 100-yard return. And Auburn is stung by its own medicine. Straight back, Marshall on the move, fires, and it was complete for a first down at the 39-yard line to Sammy Coates. Play action, fires, wide open, complete to Coates at the 33-yard line. Steen after the six-yard loss. Mason steps outside, right breaks the daylight. Still going, end zone, touchdown, Auburn. Not quite yet out of miracles. Gets after a first down before it's free set. And Green breaks free. 50, 45, one man with an angle, got him out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Mincy has trailed him all game long. Complete and penalty flags are thrown as Chris Davis with coverage in the end zone and the flags come immediately. Jimbo would go ahead and run. He's put Winston up under center. No, throw it. End zone, jump ball, touchdown. You know we went for it, number one. Kelvin Benjamin. Brent Hatton, he comes off the play fake. Look how high he puts the ball in the air for the 6-5 receiver. That's a mismatch. Chris Davis is a good player. He's 5'11", 200 pounds. They know exactly where this ball is going. Benjamin comes to the inside. The ball is high. He's done that all year. He high points the ball with his soft hands. Perfectly thrown ball by Jameis Winston. And a go-ahead score for the Knowles. Last play. Here comes the lateral. 
Hooked and ladder. Give it back, throw it across the field. And let's see if Mason can take it down the sideline. Cuts to the middle. Florida State rules the BCS. A dramatic second half comeback on the nose. Let's party, Tallahassee. Let's have some fun. Tonight you put an exclamation point on a perfect season. How would you describe the effort and energy it took to get to this moment? I'll tell you something. I said this from day one at Spring Bowl. These kids are special. This group never faltered. They wanted to be elite. They wanted to go to the top. And there is so much character in this group. Our, I'd like to say a special thank to our assistant coaches for preparing these guys like they did all year. Our players I'm so happy for and our fans. But these kids are special. Jimbo, what kind of strength and resilience did it take from this team, especially tonight when they were tested? They were. And, and, and we, we, you know, we shot ourselves a foot. But that's what happens in big time games. But I told our kids at the halftime, we got this score for half. We're two plays out we're right where you want to be. Things that are tough is what you remember. And then we got it down to one score game. And all we had to do is do two minute like we do every Thursday and we work on those drills. And our kids believe, they stay true, they stay composure in the game. Jameis grew up unbelievably nice. Struggled. But tonight's probably the best football game he ever played because he struggled early. That's what big time players do. When the money's on the line, they can suck it up in the fourth quarter and do what they have to do. But our defense, what a job they did in the second half, too. They were tremendous also. And Coach, you guys were in uncharted territory down at half for the first time this entire season. How did you coach them up to come from behind as you congratulate your family? We always believed in, in ourselves, and we told our guys, this is going to be moments like this. Hey, we, we had those great games, but we played well. But we know you play championship games, you got to go earn them. And our kids, I'm going to tell you what, there's some, there's some character on this side, too. These guys know how to play coach games. I'm going to tell you, this is a heck of a football team, and the ACC is a daggone good football conference. Go enjoy this with your family and coach. Congratulations. And now let's go to Tom with Jameis. Heather, thank you very much. Jameis with 115 to go in this game. Final drive. What did you tell your teammates around you? I said, guys, we didn't come here for no reason. I said, guys, this is ours, man. This is our, all the adversity we went through. The first few quarters, it was ours to take. And like I was just saying, we control our own destiny. And those men looked me in my eye and they said, we got this, Jameis. And I said, we said, are you, I said, are you strong? They said, I'm strong if you strong. And I said, we strong, man. After struggling through the first half, what was the biggest adjustment you guys made at halftime? We had to go back to playing Florida State football. We came out here, we, wasn't, we, were, we were letting us be bigger than the game. We were bigger than the game. Then we had to say, hey, let's play full state football because can't nobody be bigger than this game. And we did that, and we came out victorious. You had an embrace with your head coach, Jimbo Fisher. You've been through a lot with him this season. What did you guys share in that moment, Jameis? We just, we champions. We can share that we are champions together. And through everything that we went through, through all the haters, through every single thing, we came out victorious. And God did this. I'm so blessed. He's so blessed. Like all the stuff that he handled with Ethan, and he come out here and coach us, that, he, that touched me. And it's nobody but God. It's nobody. Ethan being the reference to Jimbo's son, you said it once, you said it a hundred times this season. If we're gonna do it big, we're gonna do it big then. How big is this moment? It's the biggest. Happy birthday. My cousin in Afghanistan watching this game, Tiola Winston. We're doing it for everybody. We're doing it big all over the country, all over the world. And I'm proud. I'm proud to say I'm a Florida State Seminole. Congratulations, Jake. Thank you. On behalf of the conferences and the schools that administer the BCS, we want to congratulate both teams on a tremendous effort, not only tonight, but all throughout the regular season. And now on behalf of the American football coaches, it's my honor to present the coaches trophy presented by Dr. Pepper, Coach Jimbo Fisher, and the Florida State Seminoles.